So up until now, and actually what is still the case, uh, Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass does not have a family plan. So uh, if you guys are familiar with Xbox Game Pass, or if you aren't, it's basically a service where you can play a huge library of games from Microsoft or Xbox in this case. Um, and uh, it's a subscription service, sort of like Netflix mm -hmm. is. So sort of like Netflix allows you to watch movies and shows. And this allows you to play certain games that are in their library that they have the rights to and the rights to share. So you pay them and you get access to this library basically unlimited. Uh, there are different tiers and stuff like that. Uh, and depending if you're just... Uh, if you're on PC or Xbox, they're kind of two different things. Xbox Game Pass versus Xbox Game Pass for PC. Mm -hmm. They're not quite one-to-one one one yet, but uh, but in any event, it's in my opinion, I've used it. It's a pretty good service, a good library, uh, a good alternative to buying $60 games that you'll only play for a little bit. Um, with that being said, they don't have the family plan yet. Like, again, with Netflix, like Netflix allows... Uh, family members of a household to use uh, like up to five screens at once I think it is for Netflix uh, if you buy the higher tiers yeah. so uh, for Xbox Game Pass that's soon to change as well and there is talk of them adding such a feature so there is supposedly a new higher tier in the works for Game Pass allowing up to five players to play games from the Xbox Game Pass library at a cost savings to the users when compared to five individual plans so if you just think of like a family with two kids, let's say, um, and they both want to play the same game at the same time, then up to now and, and as of right now, they would have to have two different Xbox Game Pass accounts. This would eliminate that need, allowing them to use the same account, multiple screens, same game with each other, different games, whatever they wanted. So pricing is yet to be revealed but like I said, it should be cheaper than uh, five individual plans. We'll see if that scales, if they have a, a two-screen plan, or if it's just going to be one or five. We don't know um, because Microsoft themselves are being a little quiet about it. But it is expected to hear more about this soon. So that's pretty much all there is on it right now, uh, just that it is something that's in the works. I do think it's valuable, especially when, I mean, video games have always been a big deal for kids. So... Uh, I think in households with multiple kids, essentially, that's like a huge deal because not only do you have to um, buy separate subscriptions, <laughs> buy separate subscriptions, but like if you and your brother or sister wanted to play a game and play through it together, um, you would have to that's 20 bucks use the same account to have the same progress. Uh but if you had two separate accounts, then you'd be starting over fresh when you go back to wherever, whatever you're playing on a different Xbox or, you know, a PC. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think there's clearly demand for this kind of thing. Um, essentially, most subscription service that I know of uh, have some sort of family plan. I think Amazon Prime has some sort of family plan. Uh, Netflix, all the, all the video streaming certainly does at this point multiple screens um so gaming i i think uh subscription based gaming is still kind of new to a lot of people but i think that the market potential is huge so this might be what it takes to get some people to to adopt it because you know even even a family with a couple kids and a couple parents you know the five screen thing might be excessive. Um, That's fun but, for the whole you know, family. With Netflix. Yeah. So, do you want to pay for five screens if you're only using two? I guess would be my question. I just um, get two separate accounts. And that's accounts. where it kind of has to come. Yeah. At that point, you might just be better off getting separate accounts. Uh, but is it going to be like Netflix, where you kind of just say, "Oh yeah, here's my login information. I'll make an account for you, even though you're not really in my family," <laughs> and a deal. Um, Andrew. You're so now we'll see. My, you are now in my family, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you're in my Xbox family. Does that count? Yeah. You're in my top five. Remember that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, what do you think? You think, uh, first of all, do you think Game Pass is like a, a valuable service? And do you think this adds value to the service? So what I think is actually going to happen, um, I don't think anything. So what's going to happen is um, Microsoft will announce the new 
360 plan with Microsoft Office, it's not going to be an option anymore. And it's all going to be one bundled package with everything. AKA cable yeah. subscriptions. <laughs> um, okay, more, more realistically. So they've announced that they're doing this, right? Uh, quietly. Yeah. I guess it was like a, a one-off interview that this was discussed. Not, it was like an exclusive interview, not, not a press release. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to, so Xbox game pass is actually when you, when you look at it as an overall picture, it's not a bad deal. It's pretty good. Pretty decent. No. It, it, so it's the way I see it is like, you're spreading out your game purchases over a longer period of time. Instead of spending 70 bucks or whatever it is, you know, every couple of months, you're spending so many dollars every month, like as a subscription. And I think it's good for most people, right? Because that upfront cost is the big barrier for a lot of people. Now for the family plan, I think what's going to happen is they're going to introduce the family plan and it's going to be like tiered, like five, 10, 15. And Microsoft knows people are going to, you know, screen share with other their people that aren't their family members, right? They know they can't control that. But I think what they're going to do is encourage people to do that, then increase the price of the single package. In other words, why should I pay? Let's uh, it's nine dollars a month right now or whatever. Let's make it twelve fifty, right? Make make it twelve. Yeah, make it fourteen ninety nine. Okay, and then the family plan for up to five screens is twenty four ninety nine. Right. So I think they're kind of doing what Netflix is doing in the sense that more people on your platform always equals more profit because microtransactions they're on your you know they're on your platform. Yeah, you may be losing money in the subscription, but you're making way more money by bringing these people in. And I, th I think that's what they're doing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. They want customers. They don't really, you know, they're not looking that closely at, uh, you know, who it is, how many transactions, if they're a subscriber, they're going to continue spending money regardless. Yep. hundred percent. Subscribers always spend more money. By the way, guys, if you want to get the screen, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, so uh, I think kind of like what Microsoft did with Windows, right? You know, Windows is essentially free now, right? The only thing kind it doesn't of, I don't okay, know. well, maybe not Windows. Can I 11. go to Micro Center and spend like a hundred bucks on it? Well, what I'm saying is like they've they yeah. used to be like, okay, we're gonna go after everyone that has a legal light. Now they're like, oh, you have an illegal license? Watermark. Like the, the punishment right. has gone way down and yeah, your bit locker doesn't work and all that other stuff. But like, who uses that? Just saying like, does anyone actually use bit locker? You can't change your taskbar settings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't change your background. Oh, but like real, like I would say half the windows copies out there are pirated, like not legitimate, like actually. Yeah. Not to mention you can get keys for like $5 on different weird sketchy websites. Yeah, you know how many times those people hit me up? Like, they like it used to be once a week when I was making videos. Freaking sending me a Facebook message, uh, Instagram, Twitter. I see YouTube videos where that's the sponsor. No, I don't want. I see it. <laughs> so like I, I know I don't. I think it's super shady. I, I talk to like bigger YouTubers, like Son of a Tech and stuff, like to see if these are legit. He's like, yeah, I have it on my channel. I'm like, really? That's that's uh clear enough yeah there. i'm like okay i guess they're not that sketchy but i don't know it just like that's not what i want to sponsor like like okay the way i see it is if yeah. i won't buy it then why should i sell it to someone else like i don't know maybe i'm just yeah. being you know you guys could see by my latest, yeah, I mean, latest video how i think about that <laughs> but your point being uh windows being essentially free because they get you in other ways yeah so like the way I see it is like a sale where, you know, there's 50 cameras for half price, right? Yeah. You're going to lose a lot of money on those cameras, but you're going to bring a ton of people. Cause you know, there's going to be more than 50 people that show up, right? You know, like hundreds of people will show up for that camera. So like with windows, you know, lots of people won't use it correctly, but then there's all these like ways to make money after you're in the freaking ecosystem. That's why I think that's what I think they're doing with the game pass. I mean, it's a great deal as it is right now, but 
hope they just don't make it a worse ordeal in the future yeah um all right did you have anything else about that andrew no that was kind of a quick one but uh you know it's the logical next step for them uh mm -hmm. if if people here aren't using xbox game pass not even considering it there's a good chance you're gonna eventually because i do think a lot of a lot of uh the future of gaming is gonna go to this sort of way um for me it it, I've used it the first time and this is just an aside, but I used it the first time just to try out Microsoft Flight Simulator because it was like a hundred twenty dollar game or something. Yep. And I was like, well, sh I don't even know if my computer can run that. So it made sense to spend like 10 bucks on the first month of the subscription for Xbox Game Pass for PC just to try out the game. I didn't end up buying it, but uh, I did end up keeping the subscription for a few months. Yeah, and um, you said it was $120, right? I think at launch it was like 120 for the best version or something. So, so let's put this in a really, like, really simple way that this is not how people think, but just realistically. So you could have spent $120, which was non-refundable, by the way. Games are usually non-refundable. Um, because from, remember Microsoft Flight Simulator? No, it was Cyberpunk. It was taking longer to download than you can play it. So that counted into your playtime. Anyways, that was another story. So you download, you you spend 120 bucks on it. You, it turns out XYZ, whatever reason, you can't play. Non-refundable. You wasted your money. Now, you pay $9 a month. And you take that money that you have through the year. So you basically have the same price if you play it for one year. On yeah. top of that, let's get even more cynical here. I could take that extra money that I have and invest it into an index fund and get 7% back on average over the next 50 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it, pay, paying a subscription makes more sense in that case, especially because, here's the thing, it's not just Microsoft Flight Simulator. You've already paid it off for the year, essentially. Now you can play all the other games on Game Pass. Yeah, and I think i think going forward like the library is already in my in, in my opinion pretty impressive yeah. but i think going forward it would be in microsoft's best interest to make like a, a game pass exclusive game even if it's uh you know like a Fortnite type game that's already free to play but exclusive to xbox game pass let's say so not essentially free to play but um i think that would be a way you know a game that has so much hype like a Fortnite that would get people to sign up and oftentimes i think they're doing like the first month for a buck or free or something they do some type of promo for new users anyway so they're already making it a pretty easy door to get into just to try it out yeah 100 percent. i mean um like i think it's a good deal honestly for me personally it may not be for everyone so like let's just read chat real quick um i don't know how to pronounce the whole name so i'm just gonna say Mr. Netcrypt. Um, not me. I ditched Netflix at the, at the first upping of the price and haven't looked back. So what, like six years ago? They upped the prices several times. Um, uh, yeah, I think probably... Yeah, it must have been like five years yeah, ago. Yeah, the first time they did it. So um, I don't disagree with you, actually. Um, they have been increasing their prices, and now it's like, what, $17 or whatever? For me, though, they have a lot of TV shows that I like. So for me, it's worth it. Um, I did think about, so like, for example, Stargate, right? I was thinking about buying the entire Stargate collection. It's like 200 bucks or whatever. With a Netflix subscription, I've already paid for that. And I get to watch everything else I wanted to. So for me, right. it makes more sense to keep the subscription. But for not everyone's situation, a lot of people don't like bills. I hate bills. So um, he also says, or they also say, because I don't know. Uh, TechGenG, not to mention, uh, this is regarding the Windows key, uh, copies, not to mention all the Microsoft sanctioned spyware they use to sell your info. Yeah, so I don't know what the official word from Microsoft on this is, but that is essentially how a lot of these companies that give you something for free make money, your information. Yeah. Yeah, I personally prefer to use Facebook or Apple to sell my info uh they, they've been reliable for the past you know 10 15 years for me just uh 
just uh, mining my data and, and selling it for me at no cost. Yeah, so like, let me give you guys a statistic that I actually researched a while back. So here's the thing, here's something to think about, about selling your data of how that model is different, okay? So Walmart is one of the largest retailers in the world, okay? Facebook and Walmart roughly make the same amount, of, okay, not as much anymore, but they make, they used to make the same amount of money uh, yearly. Now, what's the difference, you might say? Well, they do two different things. Yes, that's true. But here's the thing. The amount of money Facebook makes, the amount of money Walmart makes, Facebook employs less than 10% of Walmart's total workforce. Okay? So you might be asking, where is all that money going? Ah, uh -huh. exactly. And that's just my personal opinion. But the whole selling of data thing, yeah. People are buying it. People love it. People use it. And that's how Facebook makes money. Or you could just employ a lot of people. Now, I know Walmart's not the best place to work. And, you know, other human rights abuses, essentially, they have by treating their employees pretty badly. But uh, I'm just saying, like, that this... And you could talk about them cornering markets and pushing out small businesses. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't... What? Yeah, no, Walmart is great. They don't... If, if you won't, I will, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not comparing apples here, obviously. Um, they also have their own issues. But... Selling your data is very profitable. Um, one company, just to real quickly touch on that, one company, you guys probably remember the movie subscription service where you could just go to the movie theaters. You could watch, his, I think it's called Movie Pass or something like that. You could watch one movie a day for the whole month for like, what was it, 20 bucks, 19 bucks? So their whole model was to gather consumer information and sell it. Obviously, it didn't work out because that information was kind of bad. Um, they're out of business now. It was great while it lasted, though. It was great. I can go watch movies all I want. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so selling your data, very profitable. And companies are going to just keep doing it.